Ever wondered how to install Python in Termux? Well, you're in for a treat! Let's dive into the world of Termux, a powerful terminal emulator for Android. It's like having a mini supercomputer right in your pocket. Now, why Python, you ask? It's the backbone of many hacking tools and a stepping stone for any aspiring programmer. It's simple, versatile, and immensely powerful. By the end of this video, you'll confidently navigate the process of installing Python in Termux. Before diving into the installation process, you need to ensure your device is ready. It's crucial to have a few things in place to make this process smooth and hassle-free. First, you need a stable internet connection. It's the lifeline of this process because you'll be downloading resources from the web. Next, check the storage space on your device. Python isn't a large program, but it's good to have some wiggle room for any additional packages you might want to install later. One of the most important steps in preparing for Python's installation in Termux is ensuring that Termux itself is up to date. Like keeping your device's operating system updated, this too is essential. It helps in avoiding compatibility issues and ensures a smooth installation process. So, to recap, make sure you have a stable internet connection, enough storage space and an updated version of Termux. Now that your device is ready, we can start the Python installation process. Installing Python in Termux is a straightforward process. It's like learning a new dance routine. Once you know the steps, it becomes second nature. So let's get started, shall we? First off, we need to open Termux. Think of it as walking into a control room of a spaceship. It's here where we'll input our commands and kickstart the installation. Now, you might be wondering what commands to use. Well, in the world of Termux, our magic spell is pkg install python. Before we break it down, remember, every command we use is like a direct order to our spaceship. When we input pkg, we're basically instructing Termux to use its package manager. It's like telling our spaceship's control system to prepare for a new installation. Next, we have install. This is pretty straightforward, right? We're commanding Termux to install something. But what exactly are we installing? That's where Python comes in. By adding Python at the end of our command, we're specifying that Python is the package we want to install. So when we put it all together, pkg install python is our command for Termux to install Python. Once you input this command and press enter, you're setting the wheels in motion. The spaceship, or in our case, Termux, will start the installation process. And there you have it. You've successfully initiated the Python installation process, just like a dance routine. Once you've started, all you need to do is follow the rhythm. After initiating the installation, Termux will take over from here. As the installation process begins, you might encounter a few prompts. One of the most common ones is the do you want to continue question. This prompt is a standard security measure to ensure that you as the user are confident about proceeding with the installation. When you see this, you can confidently type Y for yes and then hit enter. This will allow the installation to continue. During the installation, you might also see a progress bar or some status messages. These are there to give you an idea of where the installation process is at. You'll see file names, directories and other jargon scrolling by. Don't be alarmed. This is normal. It's just Termux doing its thing, installing Python for you. Now, here's a crucial point to remember. Once the installation has started, it's vital to let it finish without interruption. This means no closing the app, no restarting your device, no attempting to run other commands in Termux. Why, you may ask? Well, interrupting the installation process can lead to incomplete or incorrect installations. This isn't something we want as it could cause issues when you start using Python. Also, depending on the speed of your device and your internet connection, the installation process might take a bit of time. This is entirely normal. Remember, good things come to those who wait. So, take a break, grab a cup of coffee or tea, and let Termux do its magic. Once the installation is complete, you'll see the command prompt return, waiting for your next command. This is your cue that Python has been successfully installed. You can now start using Python in Termux. In conclusion, navigating the installation process is all about understanding the prompts and having patience. Let the installation run its course, don't interrupt it, and soon enough, you'll have Python ready to use in Termux. Patience is key. Once the installation is complete, Python is ready to use in Termux. Let's quickly go over the steps you've taken to install Python in Termux. By now, you've journeyed through a process that, despite seeming intimidating at first, is actually quite straightforward. 
Our first step was ensuring our device was ready for the task at hand. We made sure the device was updated and had Termux installed. This is an essential step as having an up-to-date device and the Termux application are the basic prerequisites for installing Python. Next, we moved on to initiating the installation. Within the Termux interface, we typed in the command pkh install python. This simple command is all it takes to kickstart the process. The beauty of this is that you don't need any extensive knowledge of programming or hacking. All you need is the right command and the will to learn. After initiating the installation, we allowed the process to complete. Depending on your device and internet connection, this might take a few minutes. But remember, patience is key. While it may seem like a long wait, it's a small price to pay for the wealth of knowledge and capabilities you're about to unlock. During the installation, we navigated through a few prompts, confirming our intention to install Python. This involved simply pressing Y when asked if we wanted to continue. This step is crucial as it gives Termux the green light to proceed with the installation. Finally, we verified the successful installation of Python by typing Python into the Termux interface. Seeing the Python version displayed on the screen was our sign of victory. It meant we had successfully installed Python in Termux. Remember, every journey begins with a single step. And while this might seem like a small step, it's a leap in the world of programming and hacking. The process is simple, quick, and opens the door to a world of possibilities. And just like that, you've installed Python in Termux. Now, you're ready to explore the world of programming and hacking with Python at your fingertips.